And we bring back Pia Bonales now, who is still checking out some artwork at this year's Met Open in Manila. Hi again, Pia. Hi, Hillary. I'm soaking up art this Friday morning. And you guys only have one day left to enjoy everything that they have to offer here at the Met Open 2014. To tell us about the different pieces on display is Museum Director Sabrina Palomar Kwan. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Pia. Hello. Yeah, first of all, the Met Open 2014. Can you tell me about it? Because I know that there are works of students side by side with works by national artists. Well, the Met Open 2014 is the first benefit exhibition of the Metropolitan Museum of Manila. We had an open call to uh, practicing artists all, all over the Philippines and even from abroad to enter artworks and out of 500 entries we've come up with 210 works in this exhibition that has been curated by five of our most respectable curators in the country. Is there, um, of course, I'm sure there would be like an umbrella theme that would make you choose all these um, art pieces together and curated by the five. What is mm -hmm. the theme of the Met Open? Well, it takes after our new direction for the Metropolitan Museum of uh, Philippine contemporary art. Mm -hmm. So our parameters were to work within the context of our permanent exhibition called the Philippine Contemporary. And this... Uh, takes into consideration modern contemporary art since early 19, from 1915 to today. Mm -hmm. So we had entries as far back as the 1960s up to today. A lot of them actually are from the 1970s and 80s artworks. Oh. Okay, yeah, and even just me walking around, it seems like I've been, I'm being transported also in different times and different kind of places and um, different kinds of memories of Manila for me, like those are the things that stood out. But of course, I don't want to give everything away. Can you tell me about the five curators and the different themes that they have for their um, for their different segments? Okay, we have uh, Dr. Patrick Flores who focuses on painting, and then we have Joselina Cruz who uh, presents new media and expression. In her section, we will see a lot of installation, uh, photography, and video. Then we have Yael Buen Camino who um, focuses on contemporary popular culture. And we have a lot of paintings that show very colorful artworks. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, Dani Alvarez, who wanted to focus on myths and religious themes. In his section, we see a lot of uh, three-dimensional pieces. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we also have Sid Reyes, a uh, critic and writer who um, focuses on abstraction. And that is actually where we are right yes. now. It's funny because when you say abstract, the first thing that comes to my mind usually are like, of course, like pieces that wouldn't really make sense at first glance. But just looking around, a lot of these things would really like evoke a feeling right away. Like this one right here, I wouldn't think would be counted as an abstraction because it says like it's a door mm -hmm. of... Um, of Uingay Batanes and then if just looking at it you could see it exactly like all the colors and then you could imagine just being there in Batanes and they love how this whole piece evokes that but right beside us is of course a sculpture by a national artist can you tell me about this one Sabrina um, this is a beautiful piece to discuss uh, abstraction with mm -hmm. um, in particular because we think of abstraction more in terms of um, distorted images. Yes, that's how I think about it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And here, if we look at it, we can still see that this is an interior of uh, a structure. And the title already giving it away, My Chapel, shows that it could be that of a place of worship. And we do see um, the forms that show that it could be a chapel, especially the arcs that you see here. And of course, the staircase, mm -hmm. usually that uh, brings you to the main aisle. Um, this is a wonderful piece by uh, our national artist, Napoleon Abueva, that um, shows also how uh, versatile he was with material because it's made out of molave, mm -hmm. very, very hard wood that um, is difficult to, um, to, to sculpt and give these rounded features. 
if you don't, uh, if you're not uh, very strong and mm. able with the chisel, it's difficult to come up with these very fine features. And lastly, we have this idea that isn't sculpture always in the round? Mm -hmm. And uh, surprisingly, Mr. Abueva gives us a possibility of thinking that sculpture doesn't necessarily have to be a big monumental piece. It can be something as small and simple as this, but still give you that idea of space. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually very uh, uh, close to what you would just call a high relief. Um, mm -hmm. So it's as if he has uh, brought out a structure from one piece of wood by creating spaces inside it. Yeah, that's one thing that I really that really stood out to me when you mentioned that it was hardwood. I'm like, how would you be able to make not just one huge arc right here, but countless of arcs all together right there? Mm -hmm. And then all those little details that, you know, I mean, those things when you just go go into a chapel, those things you'd re really see. And that was perfectly captured here in this piece of wood. And this one just really, when you pointed it out to me, I was like, wow, I couldn't believe that. Well, he's a national artist for a reason. Yes. But of course, there are a lot of students who are also given an opportunity to mm -hmm. be on display. Um, mm -hmm. Can you mention from what schools are they? Are they all in high school, college, um, who are the students on, on, on exhibit? Um, they are usually students of fine arts from the UP College of Fine Arts in UP, uh, from FEU, and mostly uh, colleges from Manila area. They most likely have had already training or have recently graduated. Um, we are glad to have their pieces here because they are side by side practicing and renowned artists already. And what a privilege for them. You did mention that it is a beneficiary exhibition. Can you tell me what the beneficiary is? Well, the funds that we will be raising from the show will support the programs of the museum that will produce exhibitions, our education programs, and outreach programs that will bring out uh, more um, uh, knowledge about Philippine contemporary art to the public. Well, that's definitely something we could all look forward to. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Thank you, Pia. There you have it. For those of you out there who want to soak up art as much as I am doing this morning, you only have one day left until tomorrow to check out the Met Open 2014. Back to you, Hillary. All right. Thank you so much, Pia.